Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you what's on my nail desk. I posted an insta story the other day showing some new items that I got and I asked you guys if you wanted to see an in-depth nail desk tour video and you guys all said yes. And for those of you that didn't see my insta story, if this interests you just keep on watching. I do have my blinds closed for light, so I hope there's enough light in my studio to be able to show you everything. I wanted to point out first and foremost my backdrop, my curtain lights that I got. I know I mentioned it in, oh, I don't know if it was before Christmas or just after Christmas. So let's just start with that because it's there and it's shining at all of us. <laughs> I got the curtain lights at London Drugs and I got the shears from Walmart. Walmart. Just some basic shears and also the curtain rod was also from Walmart. Now these curtain lights, they will go from ceiling to floor and the width of my wall, but I've got them all bunched up just so I could have a feature on this wall with some of my certificates surrounding it. Okay, so let's just start with a desk. So I know I've shared with you in past nail desk videos or even my studio tour videos. So if some of this is a repeat just bear with me because there is quite a few new stuff that I have and some is old but I'm just gonna go through it all because I know there is quite a few new subscribers to my channel and I wanted to personally say thank you and welcome and welcome to everybody so I'm just gonna go through everything that's surrounding my desk so this chair I got at HomeSense my clients like it I keep asking if it's comfortable enough for them and they really like it especially the pillow behind it it's a nice support for them and I got the pillow at Walmart that was quite a, a couple of years ago so if we start here this is the front of the desk where my clients sit okay so this little mirror right here, it's a, I made it into a coaster. I got these at Dollarama as well as the rhinestones I also got at Dollarama and I just placed it around it so it's nice and blingy. This frame I got from Dollarama as well as the rhinestones and I just put my policies in here. So it's sitting right there when the client puts their coffee down they can see these policies and I've actually had to refer to these a couple of times. So when they say, oh, well, I didn't know that was your policy, well, it's right here. So these I've showed you guys before. I got these off of AliExpress and their armrests. And I will do my best to link everything that I'm showing you in the description box. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find these or not, but I will try for you, okay? One thing that's new on my desk are my new curing lamps. And I got these at Creative Beauty. They are the Light Elegance LED dot lamps. So here they are, there's the other one. So on the back there is a, an on, when you press it, it automatically sets to 30 seconds. And we have 30, 60, and 120 second timer. Press this button again and it turns off. What I like about this is when you turn it on, it automatically goes to 30 seconds. Most of Light Elegance products are a 30 second cure with the exception of say their gel paints and the super shiny. I'm not too sure about the top glass because I don't think I've ever used it or the matte. So the super shiny and the gel paints are a one minute cure but other than that most of their products are 30 second cure so that is really cool that it automatically is set to 30 seconds. So when the client gets something done on their nails I'll ask them to place it in the lamp and there you go. I don't have to press any buttons unless I'm doing the top coat to switch it to one minute and then if you take your hand out it still stays on this shows me that the light is still on because I actually can't see the light when it's when it's facing this way. Does that make sense? When I'm sitting there, I can't see this light being, the lamp being on, and this tells me that it is on. So if I want to turn it off, 
say I just wanted a flash cure, I'll just reach behind and just press the 30 second button again. And I want to show you that the base of the lamp comes off. There is little indents here where your client will put their fingers, okay? And there's also holes in here so air can get through. I'm assuming that's so air can get through and the lamp doesn't overheat. And it's also reflective material on the inside of the lamp which I absolutely love. A lot of the cheaper lamps that you can get off of AliExpress or Amazon, never been able to find one with a reflective inside. And I just sort of turned it on there by accident. The, the lights are positioned perfectly. So you can actually see where the all the lights are. And then, let's just turn it off again. When you place the base back on again, let's see if I can show you. There is a hole right here and on this side right here. Just line those up and then that way these holes match the holes on the top of the lamp and I think that's where the airflow it goes. It, it, there's not a fan in this but I think it's just for airflow. I'm assuming that kind of that's what would make sense to me anyway. Plug for the lamp is on the side which I really like. Instead of having it in the middle I like it on the side. And this chair might as well talk about this chair. I got the, this chair at home since oh maybe two three years ago and I absolutely love it. What I like about this chair is that it's got a, a bar on behind and this is where I will put my aprons and I keep two aprons here and I have to show you this. Okay, this is my apron. I got my logo and my studio name on my apron. I got that at, it wasn't Vistaprint, I think it was Promotique or something. This here is a marble slab. <laughs> And I use this for taking pictures of my client's nails. And it's a nice heavy piece that has felt pads right on the bottom. So it's not gonna scratch your desk. So let's go over here. This is something that's new. This is my brand new Medicool e-file. I was looking for a portable e-file, battery rechargeable. And what I, I've, I have actually used this a couple of times and I really like it. I have one bit that I had a hard time using with my Erica MT20. The MT20 only goes up to 20,000 RPMs. This Medicool one goes up to 35,000 RPMs. So it's this bit right here. This is a NYX bit and it's a coarse bit and I got this from Creative Beauty. This bit I have found that 20,000 RPMs was not enough to use. This Using this bit on my Erica MT20 made it seem like the, the bit was dull and it was brand new. When I used my Medicool on I, about 33,000 RPMs, this bit works amazing. So I know that this bit does need a higher RPM. So what else is this little baby feature? This has, put it in neutral, It's this is the forward, neutral, and reverse button. Um, I've got it in neutral right now because I don't want the hand piece to spin while it's in here. So this is the on off switch and right here you can see that I'm at 9,000 RPM and then all the way up to 35,000 RPM and the green light also lets you know that it's charged and it's on and I've got it on right now at 35 and it does not vibrate. It is a nice slim handle and it also has rhinestones or crystals that go all the way around. Now this is the special rose gold special edition e-file and so far I'm really liking it. It is lightweight. It's not that heavy. This is the whole battery pack. The base of the e-file is matte rose gold. I think it looks more pink than rose gold. And then the hand piece is a shiny rose gold. Again, I think this is more like a metallic pink. Very, it's gorgeous. This is such a gorgeous e-file. I find that with this length of nails, I can turn the e-file on and off, no problem. I like the fact that the cord is white. I don't mind the coiled cord just because I can move this anywhere and I don't need to stretch this out. I don't want a whole lot of clutter and wires on my desk. And I like the fact that the white cord just sort of looks a little bit more cleaner. That's a good word, cleaner. <laughs> So I'm just gonna move this out of the way and let's take a look at my Lazy Susan. I got this at HomeSense yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. 
I have been looking at these Lazy Susans for over a year and with HomeSense, any of you guys that shop at Winners or HomeSense, you know when you find something you need to get it right away. I am so lucky that even a year later I was able to pick these up and I picked two of them up and I'll show you the other one when I show you what's on that Lazy Susan. But on here I have all my bits that I use throughout a service. So I haven't really found a spot for this, so I just put it on top for for now. I've got two mandrels, and I ha or actually have three mandrels. This one here is the twist one, so if you have a, a tighter arbor band, it'll fit nice and snug here. This is from Light Elegance, this bit. What is this one? It's for cleaning up underneath the nails. I think it it's not the zippy, preppy. Is it the preppy? This is the one that's quite soft. Like it, it's not a coarse bit at all. This is a cuticle bit that I got from E-Nail Couture. You, I've mentioned this, my E-Nail Couture bits in several videos. My Diamond Moon bit from E-Nail Couture. I got this bit from Nail Time Supply Shop. I really like this bit. And then my Orange Crush for lefties. So I actually only use this bit on myself when I'm doing my right hand. So this one's actually lasting quite a long time. And then this bit right here, I know I've mentioned it several in several videos that was gifted to me by Creative Beauty Ooh, back probably the beginning of the year. So this little cute box, it's kind of vintage looking. I, I really liked it. I've had this for a while. I did get this at home since and I keep my wipes in here and I like this because it has a lid so when I'm doing any kind of filing I'm not gonna get dust on my wipes these wipes uh, I don't really want to say a whole lot about them these are the pure cotton ones that I got at a local distributor here in town and I'm actually quite disappointed in these because they aren't lint free like they used to be so I don't know what happened I probably ordered twice both orders were I yeah, I'm just not impressed with these. So, I mean, this would be great for doing stamping, cleaning up stamping plates, but I find that it leaves a lot of lint on the nails when I'm using them. So I'm gonna have to find another type of wipes and I'm leaning towards the Light Elegance ones because I have used those in the past and they are 100% lint free. I got two liquid pump, two pumps. So I have my acetone in this one and my alcohol in this one. And I think I got, I'm not sure where I got these, if I got them off of AliExpress or here in town. This little marble dish is actually a toothbrush holder that I got from HomeSense. I like it because it looks marble and it matches my desk. I wouldn't mind a more blingier one that HomeSense doesn't have anymore, but that's okay. Back here is just a small jar of Creative Beauty's bit cleaner. So when I'm done with using a bit, I'll just plunk it in there and let it soak for the duration of my service. And then when I'm cleaning and disinfecting, I can do that at the end of the service. So in this toothbrush holder, these are my crystal nippers. And these are from E-Nail Couture. I'll leave a link if they're on Lucy's website or not. These silicone tools, I actually don't use that often so I'm not too sure why I have them in here. I've got cuticle nippers right here that I use for hangnails. I have two cuticle pushers. Where's my other one? There's my other one. Two cuticle pushers and I have some a pinching tool. My scissors for customizing forms and my tweezers, pointed tweezers that I can't live without. I use these all the time. I should put that in a favorites video. So that's what's on this Lazy Susan. I'm going to be on the lookout for some pump bottles that are glass and maybe something that I could put some bling on. Now I know Light Elegance has the big flask ones, but I'm just afraid that they're too big and they might look too clumsy on my desk. I don't know just yet. I haven't de quite decided what I'm gonna do with that, but I'll be on I'll just keep on the lookout for some glass pump bottles. So now I'm gonna go over to this side. This is my fan for when I get hot flashes. I didn't realize, I got this at Walmart, I didn't realize that this is actually called a hot flash fan. That's the name on the box. So if anyone's looking for a fan in Walmart, look for a hot flash fan. <laughs> so here's my other Lazy Susan. Same size that I keep 
my finishing products on. And I so I've got my hand sanitizer, that's not really a finishing product, but and my cuticle oils up here. So actually these three cuticle oils you can get at Creative Beauty. This is the famous names Daddy Oil Cuticle Oil. This here is Ugly Duckling Cuticle Oil and then of course Light Elegance Cuticle Oil. These containers here, I didn't really know where to put them and because they're nice and blingy, I wanted them on my Lazy Susan just kind of out of the way for, for now and I do use Q-tips and cotton balls for, I use the cotton for removing soak off products sometimes. <laughs> and Q-tips I use for cleanup when I'm stamping. These two containers I got at Winners, oh gosh, at least three, four years ago. And I was actually just in Winners the other, yesterday. They didn't have these. So it's, this was one of those, you find it, you buy it, or else it's gone forever. <laughs> And then I have the, this is Enel Couture's Cotton Candy Cuticle Oil. My daughter really likes this. LCN Super Shine Finish Cleaner. I am just down to the very bottom of this jar. I need another one and I keep forgetting to call the distributor to, to see if they have curbside pickup. I'll have to call them after I'm done this video. I need to get some more. And I got this at ESP Salon Sales. So I think if you just, I'll put a link in the description box for LCN. And I think they have a list of distributors that carry LCN products. And then oh, I love this. I should have got two. This is 32 ounces of Luxury Daddy Lotion. I find the more I use this, so I use this every day and as each day goes by, my skin gets softer and softer and less dry and less dry. So this is a, an amazing lotion. And that is pretty much what's on this Lazy Susan. I mean, I love this. Like I have been wanting this for over a year and I'm so stoked I actually got two of them. Okay, down to the left of me, this is where I keep my forms and my paper towel. I got these racks. I think I got these at Dollarama. I couldn't find any kind of towel rack or paper towel rack at Walmart or I went to Home Depot and looked there and it, it just wasn't what I wanted. I mean, there were some really nice ones at Home Depot, but I wasn't willing to pay like $35 to $90 for a, a really nice towel rack that this for $1.50 at Dollarama did the trick. So this is where I keep three types of forms. And again, my paper towel, my garbage I keep here. I got my garbage bin. It's, I guess you could, it's more like a planter that you can stick plants in, blinged out, but I use it as a garbage. I got this at Winners. And then I keep my preempt RTU down here and my salon solution. So let's go into what's in my drawers. So in the top drawer, I keep all my brushes. These plastic containers were, are from Dollarama. And this one, I keep all my brushes that I use for an everyday service. So I've got a fusion brush, I've got my stripey brush, I've got a really small liner brush, my ombre brush. Everything that I will use daily is here. This one, I keep all my art brushes that I don't use that often, but in case I need it, they're here. So I keep my acrylic brushes in here and I keep odds and ends brushes in here. Back here are my brush holders. I've shown this before. Okay, so I've got two of them. And then back here, there's a container and I keep all my brand new brushes. And then in this drawer, this is where I keep my gels. So I basically use Light Elegance for my baseline. So. I've got cool gel, I've got one step, pink one step, natural fiber, regular fiber, and then my gels for doing French manicures and reverse French. So I've got an ide ideal builder and then two whites. And then these were just little samples that I got from classes. So I keep those there. And then on this side, I have some acrylic that I use for the few clients that are acrylic clients. I don't have very many of them, but I just keep my, these are email couture. So I'm almost out of this. 
so we'll see what kind of brand I'm going to use next. Amore's Bonder, I use that when I'm building out a nail to start with, but I actually haven't needed to use this with my Light Elegance. So I've got two of them here, they're just sitting here. And then my Crystal Monomer dish from Ugly Duckling is there, and then I keep little ones in here as well in case I need to put some alcohol or acetone in. Oh yeah, these guys. I like these. These Lux wipes, brush wipes from e -Nail Couture. These are the pink ones. I like to use these in combination with paper towel when I'm, I'm doing acrylic. In this drawer, so what's in this drawer? This is where I keep my prep and base products as well as my finishing products. So I've got my ONL primer from INM. I also got some Vita Prime that I haven't used yet. Tack and then Super Shiny from Light Elegance. So these two here, the Tack and the Super Shiny, you can get at Create a Beauty. I've got my Prep and Primer from um, Ugly Duckling and then my No Wipe Top Coat from Ugly Duckling. Again, you can get all of these from Create a Beauty. I've got foil gel. This is another super shiny that's actually that I am using because this one's almost out. And my Jimmy gel I keep here. And then on this side, I've got Wildflowers base foundation that I use for the nails in a box from Wildflowers. And I got this from AR Nail Supply. This I got at the CNTC in Ontario. And I haven't really used it, but this would be great for milk bath nails. This is just a milky white gel polish, I guess. And then the Ultra Matte from Beamy. I really like this, so I've got that there. And then on this side, what is this? Oh, I think this is empty. <laughs> I don't know why it's sitting here. It's empty. This is the Nail Guard System from Magic Gel, and I believe you can get this from Creative Beauty. The IBX Strengthen and Repair from Famous Names. The, the, this you can get at Creative Beauty. They do have quite a bit of stock. When I did order this, just I'll put a link in the description box if you're looking for IBX. I would definitely get it from Creative Beauty because I don't know, they had tons of stock when I ordered this. And then back here is a bunch of stuff that I don't really use or um, products that are brand new. So my Ultra Matte from Beanie Beauty Box and then I've got, oh cool, two Super Shinies. So I'm not gonna go uh, run out anytime soon and then my tack and then I keep my spare daddy oil right in here these trays I guess I know I got a bunch from Aliexpress and you can check out my Aliexpress haul video because I do show these and I also got a couple from HomeSense so if you want them right away you could even try HomeSense for these and I just a white tray from Dollarama down here I have a whole lot of everything. <laughs> These trays here, the white ones I got from Dollarama, and this is where I keep my files that I use on myself. I just keep them all down here. Arbor bands, so these are my medium arbor bands that I got from Creative Beauty, and these are fine zebra sanding bands that I got off AliExpress. This is another monomer dish from e -Nail Couture, but I use it for bits I'm not quite ready to throw out and change. Some money, I'm not sure what this is, water. <laughs> this caption, give me a boost, but it's a polish thinner. And I've showed this before, this works amazing for your caption polishes if they start to get a little clumpy. I keep my nail glue in here and my Gorilla Glue that I only use on my, actually I don't use it that often anymore, but I was using it on my Glamour Liz hand. I've got these micro swabs that I got off of AliExpress and toothpicks. I bought the toothpicks for spider gel, but I sold all my spider gel because I found I just wasn't using it and my clients weren't interested. So, so toothpicks that I got at Dollarama. And I use these micro swabs for the Shticket from Ugly Duckling when I'm applying Swarovski crystals. And then these are just extra bits, brand new bits from e -Nail Couture. They're all from e -Nail Couture, so they're sitting in there. I keep my clippers in here, and I usually use these to take these arbor bands off the mandrels. Zebra sanding bands, these are medium grit, so I have two of them. These are coarse ones that I don't use, they're just sitting there. Way back in here, there's another white tray that I keep my ceramic tiles. I've showed this before. And then on the back, 
I don't know if you can see. See right down here, there's, I put a liner in here. Well, I ended up gluing leftover liner to the bottom of my ceramic tiles. So when I put them on here, I've mentioned this before, <laughs> they don't scratch my tabletop. So I have three of them back here and then some brush holders that I don't use. Dust brushes are here and down in here. I have, oh, I don't know, a bunch of nothing <laughs> except for my brushes. I've showed this in my, I got this from Creative Beauty and I already showed this in my Creative Beauty haul, so check that video out. I keep nail tips down here, my nails in a box, and all these rings for swatch sticks. I've got a whole bunch that are just sitting in here. I don't want to get rid of them because I know I will use them. And again, all of these trays, the pink one and the clear ones, are from Dollarama. I got these swatch sticks from Nail Techniques. They're, I don't, they're shorter than the ones that they used to have, so I've got, like, look at this. I've got different sizes, and I think that looks kind of tacky. I don't know why these ones are shorter, maybe just the batch that they got. I'm not sure, but I'd rather have them all the same size. So that's something I'm gonna have to fix up down the road. Okay, my nail desk. So I got the top part of my nail desk. I don't know the dimensions. I got this from Glam Up Nails, so you can go to that website and check out the dimensions for the tabletops. And then down here is my Nova Flare. This is the T2 that I have. And I've done um, actually two. I've done a cleaning video and I've done a showing you guys what this baby does. So you can check out those videos as well. Okay, and that is it. If you have any questions, if there's something you saw on my desk that I didn't mention and you wanna know where I got it from, just comment down below and I will do my best to answer as quickly as possible. And again, don't forget to follow me on all my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, at Elite Nails by Carrie. And we will see you in the next video. Bye guys. <music>